One video call broke me. I cried my lungs out. What did I just finish watching? What did I just finish watching? Guys, life is sometimes so unfair to certain people and you just imagine and you'll be like, why me? Why is this happening to me? Why my family? I mean, what did we do wrong? Did my ancestors actually do something wrong in the past? Why is this happening? Why is life not even going the way it ought to go? And you know, watching Daina Ekweme's video, just finished watching it and listening to everything she said in that video, <laughs> it just uh, shows you or makes you realize that you never really know what people are going through except they open up and tell you. And sometimes you can't force people to open up and tell you what they are going through if they are not ready to say anything about it TV. hey guys welcome back to the channel my name is princess banigo and i'm an Nigerian youtuber based right here in lagos to all my returnees you are welcome and if you're new i appreciate you thank you so much so guys Dana ikweme uploaded a video telling us that she's quitting youtube for good and she's finally opening up when i saw opening up you know as part of the title quitting youtube for good i knew that was probably just a clickbait but when i saw opening up you know i wondered what was Dinah going to open up about because you know here and there she has mentioned that her mom wasn't feeling so well but i mean coming to sit down and talk about somebody's parents else is not a reaction per se right so i really didn't know you know what was the context of that video until i sat down and i watched that video and i listened to Dinah ekweme from the beginning and i saw all the emotions on her face and i totally understand where Dinah ekweme is coming from imagine having to travel and leave your mother who is sick and you have been the one person who is closest to her amongst your siblings because your house is not far from hers and you can't reach her touch her hug her be there for her and you know that this is one of the times she needs you most in her life but you can't be there because you're married and marriage took you to a new location so you can be with your husband and your children now i understand why dina ekweme would always talk of going back yes you know even though sometimes she'll say it's not just saudi she just wants to go back home there's nothing like home i mean now it's totally understandable so you guys let's just dive right into it so according to dina ekweme um part of the reason why she was posting consistently back to back when she migrated to saudi arabia was to get away from the realities that she was facing according to her she could have just you know taken a break posted here and there but she came hard on on the posting she was posting back to back because she didn't want to sit down and face the reality of what she was going through according to her her mother was going through a severe illness alignment that she's not going to be mentioning until she's comfortable with it which i think it's fine we don't even need to know if she doesn't want to come out and mention it her mother was going through that and you know all she could think of was if i could just be close to this woman let me just post and just get my mind off all all those things that i am going through let me just get my mind off it i don't want to think about anything even though posting might not necessarily do what she wants but you know when she's like this in the videos her mind might be busy and every other thing so she kept posting back to back her mom got better and she was excited at oh finally mommy is fine okay thank god and then according to her another news came that wasn't so good her mother was back in the hospital and it became another round of worrying and according to her she was just telling herself what am i doing really what is this world about i mean like can't i just go home she started thinking of wanting to go home and just be close to her mother and according to her her mother is a biggest fan as biggest supporter who celebrates every milestone on her youtube channel with her and she her mom 
is always watching Diana's video and seeing how things are going on, you know. And so Diana at the point started feeling some type of way about posting consistently, seeming like, oh, we are doing well, we're thriving, mommy is just here. Even though her mother was not complaining or anything, but she started feeling some type of way and she decided to withdraw. And that was why she took the break away from YouTube to just reflect and deal with every other thing that she was dealing with internally. Let me tell you something that if you have never had the scare that you might lose your mother, right? Diana's mom is a single mother and I can totally relate to that, right? But if you've never had that scare, if you have never seen your strong mother who is very healthy, always going out and about, if you have never seen them lying in the hospital bed weak, tired, if you've never seen them in that state and you see your parent, your mother in that state, trust me, it's enough to drive you crazy because you just start rethinking this whole thing called life. And life dealt Diana Ikweme the biggest blow of her mom, seeing her mom in a state she had never seen her mom before. According to her, even though the mom, you know, gets sick here and there, but sometimes they go to the hospital, she's there to take the mother, you know, the reality is not like when she is far away from her mom and she can't be there to hold her mom. Even when she just had a third child, she still had to be there health twice for her mom. She still had to come on YouTube and smile like everything was okay, even though she is dealing with a lot. It takes me back some years when my own mom wasn't feeling so well and so many thoughts, so many thoughts came running into my head. Seeing my strong mom who single-handedly raised us by herself, leaning on me for support, you know, it brought so many thoughts and, you know, thinking and feeling and emotions that I, I didn't understand. So seeing Dinah Ekweme, talk i could just relate to it especially when she started saying with the fact that they were a mom's husband like they were all a mom had because the mother did not remarry so she and her siblings were all a mom had and they, they had to be there for the mother and I truly sympathize with whatever it is that Diana Ikwe's mom has gone through. I don't even think she needs to come out and say it except she wants to tell us what it is or say it on the internet. But at the end of the day, what matters most is she said this whole experience brought a closer bonding between her and her siblings. Not like they didn't used to communicate, but it brought a closer bonding to them. And, you know, they appreciate each other more. The fact that the little things they can do just to put a smile on their mom's face. Guys, may God keep our parents for us. Like into their old age. Even when people are old up to 100 years and they pass on. When they are 100 years and beyond and they pass on. You still see the kids crying. Right. So may God keep our parents for us. May they stay alive for us to reap the fruit of their labor right may god preserve our parents may illness not claim the lives of our parents may evil the evil that roams around the earth the world not come close to our families may god preserve everyone i know i'm going very you know prayer prayer mode but when things comes to mothers especially a single mother I take it so dead to my heart because i totally understand what it is for one woman you know, to just be there for our children. Just one woman. I understand. And it is totally relatable. And I thank God that Dinah's mom is getting better. And I pray that our mother is going to get way, way better and get healthier by the grace of God. And our parents, our mothers also, our fathers, may God preserve every one of them. Anyway, guys, that is basically all that Dinah, not all, but if you want to listen to everything totally in details, please go to Dinah Equimi's channel because that video is almost, you know, some minutes long and I can't 
you know come and tell you guys what for what everything she said but please do well to go to Dinah Ekwemi's channel and watch and understand probably why Dinah has been behaving certain ways this was part of it thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in another video bye for now video call that just put me off put me off